Guardian Games goes live today, May 2nd, 2023, at the time of reset. Today, I'm gonna go over everything you can expect from this year's Guardian Games from everything that Bungie has told us so far. For those who don't know, Guardians Games has been an annual event for the last few years that pits each class against each other to be the top class. This event lasts three weeks, and at the end, the class with the most points will be the winner. Before we get into the rewards, let's go over some of the changes for this year's Guardian Games. First up, the Supremacy Game Mode is returning to PvP. Supremacy was first introduced in D2 back in 2016. In this game mode, you have to unalive the opposing guardians and pick up the crest that they drop. You gain points by collecting the enemy crest and you prevent the enemy from gaining points by collecting your teammates crest that the enemy kills. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm not sure if Bungie is gonna add a little twist to this year's supremacy mode uh, when it comes to the guardian games, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. However, this game mode is heavily known for snipers, so watch out for them. For Guardian Games 2023, Bungie is implementing a new class-based matchmaking system where you actually face off against full teams of a single class. Jesus, I see it now. May God help everyone who isn't a Titan. <laughs> there will be Striker and Bubble Titans all over the place, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a nightmare. While crests are important in supremacy, medallions are your bread and butter or margarine if you're into that kind of stuff. <laughs> you gain low tier bronze and silver medallions for completing Gambit, Quick Play Crucible, anything in the Vanguard playlist, normal defiant battlegrounds, and most activities in Neptune. The higher tier gold and platinum medallions are awarded for playing harder activities. Those are Nightfalls, Raids, Dungeons, Comp, Trials, or Legend Defiant Battlegrounds. Contender cards are cards that you can actually buy for 1000 Glimmer and will also award you with gold medallions, but you can only carry two contender cards at a time. One for Strikes and Gambit, and the other is Crucible Focused. However, Platinum cards award Platinum medallions and cost 1500 Glimmer each with the same parameters as the contender cards. In short, you buy the cards with Glimmer, you play the game, you deposit the medallions in the podium at the tower, and the highest for the day, week, and eventually the event wins. Like last year's Guardian Games, we will be split into two different playlists, the Ops and Competitive Playlists. Both these playlists will be available with regular matchmaking and with class-based matchmaking that can give you additional rewards. The competitive playlist will also allow you to play with a pre-made fire team in a non-matchmaking option. Both playlists will also feature strike scoring, which earning high scores unlocks buffs for your weapons and abilities. Don't worry, because if you don't get your high score on your first run, you can still take advantage of the boost to gain more strike medals, points, and stronger buffs, but it will only work in the Guardian Games playlist. Each class will be able to earn high scores and progress your Guardian Games quest, which will allow you to light up the torches in the tower behind the podium to get rewards. The torches will be ranked from bronze to platinum, same as last year, and each torch will unlock better rewards than the previous one, so light up the torches every week. For those guardians who are after bragging rights, your class item will show you your score by changing color, and it will also glow in a unique way if your weekly score is higher than everyone else in the tower. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the event card. Eva Levante will be our vendor for Guardian Games once again. The event card is free to everyone and it will show you what you need to do in order to complete the challenges. Also, there will be challenges that require you to use Strand, so keep that in mind. You can complete challenges in the event card to unlock new exotic emotes and a lot more rewards. Completing the event card will earn you the new title, Champ, and you can then guild it by completing some extra triumphs. If you earn the Champ title, and you have also earned the titles in the last installments of Solstice, Festival of the Lost, and The Dawning, you will then unlock the first Reveler title, which can take an entire year for you to earn. Now, you don't have to, but 
if you choose to upgrade your event card for 1000 silver, you'll instantly unlock new rewards. These rewards are a new emote, a new sparrow, and a new ghost. But it's really up to you to decide whether those rewards are worth 1000 silver or not. Guardian Games 2023 will introduce a new never before seen strand scout rifle called the Terra Zippos, which is pretty much like a strand hung jury minus some of the perks, as well as the returning void SMG, the title, but with an updated perk pool to include the much loved Repulsor Brace. Last year, a lot of people didn't actually like the title, but I found it to be an amazing SMG in PvP. One of my titles that is not considered the god roll that I actually had the most luck with had Perpetual Motion and Swashbuckler, and I was able to rack up 790 Guardian kills with it. It wasn't the best roll, but it was a good SMG for being a 750 RPM. Now, let's go over the perk pool for the Terra Zippos first, and then we will go ahead and look at the new perk pool for the title. In order to go ahead and check out the perk pool, we'll be heading over to Light.gg. So this is the Terra Zippos. It is a legendary kinetic scout rifle. But like I said, it will be strand. Coming down to the stats, it has an impact of 60, range of 30, damage fall off at 35.45 meters from the hip and 66.47 when you ADS, a stability of 42, handling of 69, reload speed of 59, um, reload time of 2.02 seconds, aim assist of 75, and inventory size of 51, which is pretty nice. Uh, a zoom of 19, airborne effectiveness of 13, a recoil direction of 54, which really isn't that great. Uh, bounce density of 46. It is a 200 RPM um, scout rifle, and it does have a magazine of 15. Those are base stats. Those are not stats when you add into the effect, the barrels, the magazines, and the traits in the first two columns. So, as for the perks, we do have arrowhead break, chambered compensator, corkscrew rifling, extended barrel, fluted barrel, full bore, hammer forward rifling, polygonal rifling, and small bore. Then we have accurized rounds, appended mag, tactical mag, extended mag, steady rounds, alloy mag, flared magwell. As for the traits, we have no distractions, Outlaw, Zen Moment, four times the charm, uh, moving target, offhand strike, gut shot straight. Then in the fourth column, we have keep away, kill clip, encore, focus fury, cascade point, hatchling, explosive payload. And then in the last column, we have classic contender as well as Ovalon fluid uh, dynamics. Now for PVE, I probably would go with maybe something along the lines of Four times a charm or Zen moment with explosive payload and hatchling. Uh, for PvP though, it's a little bit of a toss up. Um, I'm definitely looking towards uh, Zen moment and kill clip. I'm kind of mad that keep away and kill clip are in the same um, column. Otherwise, if they weren't, then I would definitely do keep away and kill clip. But hey, what can you do? So Zen moment kill clip definitely nice. Uh, moving target kill clip as well as um, even no distraction kill clip could be nice as well in PvP. Uh, but don't uh, slack on explosive payload too because explosive payload does crazy amounts of flinch. Next, let's go ahead and look at the title. So this is the title. Whoops. It is a legendary um, void submachine gun. As for the stats, it has an impact of 23, a range of 40, damage fall off at 12.39 meters at the hip, or 18.28 when you ADS, a stability of 20, handling of 48, reload speed of 23, reload time of 2.4 seconds, it's kind of long, uh, an aim assist of 32, it's not the best, a magazines, uh, I'm sorry, an inventory size of 34, a zoom of 15, airborne effectiveness of 21, recoil direction of 85, uh, bounce intensity of 15. It is a 750 RPM SMG, and it does have a magazine of 28. Coming down to the different perks, we have all the same barrel perks as um, the Terra Zippos. And 
for the magazine, we have uh, pendant mag, flared magwell, extended mag, alloy mag, armor piercing rounds, high cal rounds, uh, ricochet rounds, as well as light mag. Then we also have in the first trait, perpetual motion, threat detector, envious assassin, dynamic sway reduction, pugilist, offhand strike, as well as uh, shot swap. Then in the last uh, uh, trait, we have uh, surrounded, vorpal weapon, repulsor brace, range finder, swashbuckler, focus fury, and gutshot straight. And then the very, very last column, we have classic contender as well as Hockey Breach Armaments. Now, let's go ahead and go over the armor for Guardian Games 2023. And we do have a few new sets that are actually coming um, to Guardian Games. First being the Hunter set, and it is called the Hunter's Aspiring Challenger. Then we have the Warlock set, which is called the Warlock's Resolute Champion. And then last, we have the Titan's Enduring Conqueror, which is the Titan set for Guardian Games. But we also have the returning um, class items from last year's Guardian Games. For the Hunter, it's going to be the Serpent's Glory Mantle. For the Warlock, it's the Phoenix Ascent Bond. And then for the Titan, it is the Lion's Rain Mark. So that is the event for Guardian Games 2023. I did also want to mention that the Guardian Games Cup has also made a return. This is an actual competition during Guardian Games where you have to sign up for a chance to be one of the top teams in either the technical or charitable categories. For the technical category, Bungie will be tracking each officially registered team's total number of medals deposited in the podium during the three weeks for Guardian Games 2023. For the charitable category, Bungie will be tracking the total amount of money raised through the team's official Bungie Foundation sign-up page throughout the same period. If you guys are actually interested in the Guardian Games Cup, I will put a link in the description for more information. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you. Watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go. Go, 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 go.